I didn't hit my light. I'm so glad. Hi guys, it's Emery, and in today's video, I have some awesome hacks and hairstyles for you if you are graduating. I'm not graduating, but I thought it'd be fun to do this video for everyone who is this year, or if you just want to watch for fun, that works too. I mean, you could you could wear these hairstyles with normal hats. And without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go on to a hack first. Um, if you do not know about this, you're gonna love it, okay? So, um, when you're wearing your hat, you have to deal with this annoying piece of fabric on your forehead and just... I don't know about you, but I just, I can't pull it off. So, if you're not a big fan of the piece of fabric either, all you do is take the front of your cap and you start to fold it. And you keep folding it until it's where you like it. And then you stick it on your head, get it where you want it, and then you just take some bobby pins. Make sure that the bobby pin is facing downwards so all the little bumps are going to touch your head. And you secure it on the side, just like this. And then you just stick as many bobby pins as you need in there. The elastic on mine does a pretty good job in the back of keeping it secure, but just use as many as you need. Um, if you're having a hard time, you can make a little X with your bobby pins. Like that. So it's, it, that secures the uh, bobby pins just a little bit better. But that's it. Now that we're taking care of how to wear the hat, let's talk about curls. If you just want to wear curls on your graduation day, which I totally get it, sometimes you just want to keep it simple and classy. I have a really pretty way to kind of get a wave or curl that will look, that will flow really nicely with your graduation cap. So this technique is called a uh, waterfall curl, which is not the same as a waterfall braid. And I'm going to demonstrate it on Makaili because I'm not using heat on my hair as of right now. And then when I'm done showing you how to get these curls on Kylie, I will kind of explain real quick how I got these without using heat. Okay, so all I'm doing is taking all of her hair from her ears up and pulling it up and then I'm gonna be taking, I think this is a one inch wand by Bedhead, and taking bigger sections, like inch to uh, two inches and going away from her face and taking off the barrel and then if your hair has a hard time holding a curl you can just hold it in your hand for a few seconds to let it cool. Mine usually does not. But it helps. And then taking another big section and going towards her face. This part is up to you whether you want to do all away or all or going back and forth. Kylie likes that style better and so do I. So I'm ending up doing four curls on the bottom half and then take down another section and divide that in half. If your hair if you have thinner hair, um you can probably just finish letting it down all the way. But Kylie has very thick hair. And then for this section you're gonna take an inch to a half an inch sections and that's basically the waterfall technique the farther you go up your head the smaller sections you take that way no matter what direction your curls lay they'll sit on top of each other instead of mixing in together and it will also create the illusion of you having a little bit longer hair especially if you have problems of your hair going a lot shorter when you curl your hair like I do so if it makes it a little bit easier on you to kind of figure it out you could do two to four more curls per layer as you go up so you don't have to really think about how thick your sections are. And I'm also leaving a lot of her ends out because she likes that look She um, and it kind of gives it a little bit more of a natural look as well. And another thing that I'm doing just because I like the look, you can do it all the same on all the curls, is on the bottom layer I wrapped it more flat and then as I'm going up I'm twisting my wrist a little bit more so it gives it more of a spiral on top. This is just another technique to make it so your curls don't all blend together into three big waves. So basically all I did was do four curls on the bottom, seven curls on in the middle section, and then ten curls on top. And it just creates this really pretty waterfall effect. And it also makes it so your curls will not mix in together. All good things. And then I'm just going to run my fingers through her curls to soften them up. Yeah, they're they're really pretty. They're really flattering with a ready, Kylie. You gotta graduate with a graduation cap. 
um, and your the bangs flow really nicely with how you curled them. <laughs> And for my curls, how I did it without heat was I took these flexi rods and I did the same technique I put, except with flexi rods, it's a little bit different. You don't do a curler per curl that you want. I have a video right here explaining how to use them, but I just did four bigger ones on the bottom of half of my head and three smaller ones. They're about half the size of these on the top head, half of my head. And I got these. These curls are a great base for any of the other hairstyles that I'm gonna show you. But if you wanna keep your hair straight, you can do these hairstyles too. Wait, guys, stop. Before we continue on, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And ring the bell so you can get notified of any future videos like this one. And let's just get back into the video. Another hack that I have for you is if you're going to be doing a hairstyle where you need the braid or the curls or whatever to start at a certain place, you can just put on your cap exactly where you want it and then take a bobby pin and mark where your hat sits and you can do that depending on where you if you're doing curls and you want them to start exactly where your hat sits you would do it like every few inches or if you're just doing a braid and you need it to start at a certain place and end at a certain place you can kind of just mark those right there but there you have it for you so the first hairstyle I'm going to show you is very simple, very easy, there's no complicated technique. Part your hair, I guess you could do it in the middle, but I think it looks a little bit better if you part it to uh, the side just a little bit at least. And take a chunk of hair from the side that has less hair. I'm taking about all the hair that's over my ear, maybe just a little bit further back. And you're just going to tuck it behind your ear, divide it into three, and braid it. And you can go all the way down if you want. I think I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop about here. And then I'm just gonna hold the bottom of the braid with one finger and stretch out the edges with the other. And then you can either elastic, put an elastic there, or you could tease it. I'm just gonna put some bobby pins up. Well, maybe I'll do an elastic. And then if you're worried about this hair right here coming out from behind your ear, you can just tuck it behind and then place a bobby pin there. Maybe two. I'm coming from the other direction. Then you have to put this perfect accent braid that would go super cute with curls or straight hair. My last hack that I have for you, and it's not really a hack, it's more of a makeup suggestion, is to take an eyeliner that is the color of your graduation cap and robe and line your lower lash line with it. What I like to do um, when I'm lining my lower lash line with an eyeliner is I go all the way across my waterline from one eye corner of the eye to the other and then halfway I will line like un like underneath my uh, lower lashes and it kind of just builds it up versus having one just stark line. Um, I'm just taking a blue shadow, this dark one right here, to uh, set <laughs> to set the eyeliner. Okay, for this hairstyle, we need to mark where the cap is going to sit on your head. So place it on your head where you want it to go. I'm going to have it go just a little bit farther back than the other one. And then pull the hair forward just like this, and I'm just gonna mark right on top of my head. And I'll probably do about three bobby pins to mark. Just like that. Okay, now we're gonna start braiding. So you're gonna take a section of hair right next to your part on the thicker side and divide your hair into three, and we're gonna start Dutch braiding. And we're using the bobby pins as a guide to make sure the braid won't be covered up by the hat. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way down, making sure that the braid will not be uh, covered up by the cap. You can bring in hair that's past the bobby pins. In fact, you're going to need to. But the purpose of the bobby pins uh, is to make sure that the braid isn't going to go underneath the cap. And as you go further down, you're going to start, you're going to need to start sweeping hair from the opposite side and bringing it into the braid. Once you get to the end and you can't add any more hair, you're just gonna braid normally all the way down. If you have the issue of one strand is getting super thin because of all of the hair that you brought in from the other side, all you do is you take the strand with the longest hair still in, in it, take a little chunk off of it, 
um, bring the chunk underneath to the strand that doesn't have any hair left and add them together and that way you can keep braiding down but no one will be able to tell you did that and it's great and then just take an elastic and then you're going to fluff out the braid take out any bobby pins that you can still see put on your cap don't forget to secure it with bobby pins and that's it Alright guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below on which hairstyle or hack was your favorite and what video or what video you would like me to do next. I love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough. Bye!